Yay! Ah, I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm happy because I'm able to do this video today because my device has been telling me my internet storage is full and I just had to do something about it. So I'm back guys. Hello everyone. How are you all doing? I know in one of my videos I promised to show you guys how to make suya pepe. I will not only show you how to make suya pepe but also show you how to make suya with your suya pepe. Are you watching me for the first time? You're most welcome. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. And to all my returnees, I say you're most welcome. My love for you is this big. So the ingredients I'll be using for my sea pepper today is Kuli Kuli. Kuli Kuli is made out of peanuts and I'll also be using pea nuts to make our sea pepper. This is dry pepper, which will serve as a spice for the suya. Then we have um, paprika, black pepper. Black pepper is not one of the main ingredients, but I like to use black pepper in my suya pepper and also Cameroon pepper. I love Cameroon pepper because of I love the smell, I love the spiciness of the suya. It has this different kind of spice, so I always add um coming pepper to mine and this is um ginger powder please be very very mindful it can be very overpowering so i usually use very very little and salt to taste so i'll be sh you know also showing you how like i said i'm going to be showing you how to make suya so i'm going to be using two different kind of meats the one i've kebabbed is soft shin it cooks quite fast it cooks easily that is what i'm using and this is called tozo the house of Call it tozo, the Yoruba people call it Ikero, and I think is the haunch of the cow. It's quite tasty. I've eaten it as a young child, it's very, very nice. So let's get into it. Let's start with the suya pepper first, then before we go into making the suya itself. So we'll start by grinding all the dry ingredients, then before we start combining everything together. First and first, we will be grinding the kuli kuli. Um, please get a, a very good um, blender that the blade will not bend, that will not spoil the blade of your blender because kuli kuli is very hard. I will be blending other ingredients. So, and this is the um, finished um, finish. Uh, this is the grinded um, ingredients. That's the kuli kuli. That's the um, peanuts and the spice so we'll be combining everything together now if you're like me that likes so much spice you want to use a lot of spice in this when you're making your own um, suya pepe but if you're not the kind of person that loves spice please be very very mindful of the amount of suya, um, spice you're going to be adding to your suya pepper. Taste it to know the consistency of your pepper. But well, I think I'll be adding more to mine and um, I'll be adding a little bit of salt. Make sure you combine it very well together. I love the smell, it's quite nutty. So, let's make suya with our suya pepper. Get a flat blade, pour a lot of amount of um, pepper on your flat blade because we will be dusting the suya with this pepper. Give it a generous um, amount from side to side. Repeat it with, you know, repeat the process with all the other meats and set aside. Be generous with the pepper. Thank you. 
um likewise do the same with the tozo but this one with the tozo you don't you would not want i won't be putting too much of the spice on the tozo meat because the tozo meat itself has its own flavor so i'll only be using a little amount of um, pepper on the tozo meat please let me know in the comment section if you have ever made suya pepper or you've ever tried um, tozo meat or you've ever made suya please let me know in the comment section don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel i'll be grilling these two meats in the air fryer it's cold outside so i won't be doing that on the grill outside so i'll be doing it in the um, air fryer so and this is the oil i usually have this oil at home i already have um suya pepper in the oil so i'm going to brush all the meat with some oil so that when we grill it will not be too dry repeat the same process with all the meat and set aside that's it this is what it looks like moist nice and we're going to grill it at um, 155 degrees because we don't want it to be too we don't we don't want it to get burnt we want it to cook slowly put some oil in the tozo meat too tozo can be very fatty you know so you put a little bit um, amount a little amount of um, oil in the tozo meat then we grill So this is our tozo and this is the suya um, kebab which we have made. Literally you can eat suya with anything. You can eat it with rice, you can eat it um, with, you can have it with gari, you can have it with bread as the African burger. You can have it on its own, garnished with some um, tomatoes, onions, cabbage. It's very, very nice. You can get more of suya in the north. That is where it is mainly produced. So, like someone like me that schooled in the north, I really, really love suya. So today I will be having my suya with Gary. Tell me in the comment section if you have ever tried this. This is the best combination ever. Trust me, it goes really, really well. So thank you guys for watching my video till the end if you did watch it to the end here thank you so much please don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and give me a big thumbs up till i come your way next time it's bye for now